Hello, I'm Roz McPherson, and I have an important message. On June 6, 2000, I received a dreaded call. My firstborn, my handsome, talented son, had just taken his life. He was 26 years old. I was devastated, but not surprised because he had struggled for many years with the ravages of mental illness. I had never given up hope that he would emerge and learn how to manage his illness. I imagined that he would become an international journalist, much like the late Ed Bradley, going into dangerous war zones and living an adventurous life. But it was not meant to be. Many years have passed and no, the pain and void do not get better with time. You simply learn to live with your new reality. Those of us left behind live with an ongoing cloud and we each process the loss so differently. Mental health for black people has been dicey over the years with treatment that were often negative and untrustworthy based on erroneous assumptions about who we are as a people. Many of us simply did not trust the mental health system and for good reason. We also viewed seeking mental health as something that whites with money did, not black people. And in many black churches, the family was further ostracized by pastors and congregations that treated suicide like a sin instead of the illness that it actually is. Some even refused funeral services. Times have changed and it gratifies me to see that black people recognize the need to address their traumas. I am pleased that we have black professionals who understand and empathize with what is needed and that more families are recognizing the need to address challenges and not sweep them under the rug. September is Suicide Awareness Month. I want to say to those who are contemplating that there are many who care about you, need you, and want you to be in their lives. There is help. For those of us who are left behind, don't hide behind what you think is a secret shame. There are those of us who understand and share your experience. We can all support one another. I ask that you support the important work of Mental Health First Connects, for they are an important bridge to helping people find services. Thank you.